Hey YouTubers, um, today we'll be having a OU battle against this guy named Hit Me Up 2009 Sorry for the quality on this video, but I wasn't recording with my ace card. I didn't have this battle on my ace card. So anyway, I'll be leading off with my Whimsicott. He'll be leading off with his Dragonite. Anyway, I start off with a Stun Spore, and he starts off with a uh, Thunder Wave. Luckily, I had Whim for this battle because he had all dragons, so I didn't know what to expect. I knew I knew I, knew I had to uh, slow down most of his team, which is pretty pretty lucky. I brought this little guy because he definitely saved me a lot. Well, for as long as he lasted, anyways. Anyways, I'm going for another Leech Seed here, just to get. Just uh, just to keep up the annoying tactics here, he brings in his Haxorus, and I know he's gonna lock himself into Outrage, and um, I'm gonna go for the Stun Spore, just to annoy him a little bit more. Um, he's gonna, oh yeah, the Lumberry, which sucks, and this thing does a ton of damage. It's like crap, dude. That sucks. That sucks, dick. But anyway, I get my health back from a leech seed, and I go for a stun spore, cause I can't have that thing come around here messing up my whole town. You get what I'm saying? But um, he takes me out with an outrage. Was I was like, I was like, shouldn't I have lived? just a little maybe possibly who knows anyways I'm bringing my SB on and I set up my reflect so I can take a little less damage from him this old truck here and give him a uh, psychic and um, I'm gonna get my health back yeah I give him a psychic this doesn't kill him off I was like so close, now I gotta get hit again. Oh wait, yeah, he takes himself out great, right? Anyways, my reflect is still up. Um, and then he brings in his Salamence. I'm like, oh, so he's trying to set up for a sweep here, but that's not really gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. So anyway, he locks himself into, uh, Outrage next turn. I switch into my Sizor to take it. And this Sizor right here, he's like super bulky, so I can take whatever he has coming for me. I take this uh, time to uh, start setting up on him. Sword Dance. Holler. Um, so he's gonna Outrage me again, and then I'm like way too close to death right now so I'm gonna roost up here oh wait I think maybe I finish him yeah I roost off here and that's an interesting tactic that Lumberry to stop him from that outrage confusion that's pretty cool but anyway finish him off with a bullet punch I think that's what it was um, he's gonna bring in his um, Dragonite to bother me a bit, which sucks. And right here, he was lucky because he had multi scale. So lucky. I forgot that. But it doesn't matter. He's gonna Dragon Tail me out of here and bring in Espeon again. And then I'm gonna set up a Reflect again? No, Psychic. Yeah, Psychic. And that didn't really even do much at all. So he knocks me back out with Dragon Tail. He's going to bring in my T-Tar. I didn't really plan on using this T-Tar. Never really cared. But I brought him for the weathers. And so anyway, I got Sandstorm up. And I take this opportunity to go for Stealth Rocks. Just so he can do something. I don't plan on really using them. So he Dragon Tails me. And then he brings in my Mew. Oh, Mew. 
And this Mew, he's one of my favorite Mews. This Mew has all the punches on him. And you'll see why I call him Chan. You'll see. So anyway, I finish him off with a nice punch. A nice punch. He didn't expect it. Uh-uh. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Anyway, he brings in his, uh, I think a, he brings in Hydreigon? Maybe? Yeah. And so, I get a little scared here. You know, he's watching a T-Tar. Just so he can die by something, because I don't want anyone else to die. And then he superpowers me, and I'm like, God, God dang it. I knew you were worthless. I knew it. Jeez. Gosh. But anyway, I bring in my Sizor. And this is the part where I mess up. Not that it really would have mattered, but I should have used Bullet Punch instead of trying to go for a bug bite or whatever. But anyway, he takes me out with a fire blast. Which sucks. Bad. Luckily, he's being worn down. And I reflect him right here. That reflect... That reflect sets the tone for the rest of the whole battle. And you'll see why. It's gonna save my life. That was a crucial moment. Anyway, I bring in Salamence. Uh, Sal. Never really use Sal. And this is why I don't use him. Because he can't take a hit for nothing. Jeez. Out like a light. Tell you what. He was pointless like I thought he would be. At least in my hands, anyways. Anyway, bring Mew out here. Just to finish off this dick sucker. Gosh. So annoying. So annoying. Uh, anyways. Get my recovery back. Get some leftovers. From my lefties. Anyway, he brings in this Chiron Black. And... Never really fought one of these before. My new is gonna lock himself into outrage. So instead of playing around, I start setting up on him. Just to show him what's up with this Mew. Packing packing all the amazing every amazing utensil known to man for battles like this. So he's gonna give me another outrage and I do a drain punch to get my health back. I'm gonna break him down, so I'm gonna break him down a little bit so I'll get my health back. Holler. And he is uh, about to die here. He's about to die here. Keep in mind, Reflect is still up. This is why I'm not taking that much damage here, which was great because this wouldn't be possible if it hadn't been for Espeon there. Back in the day, when he was still living, he was a trooper. He was. Anyway, Kyram's dead. He's gone. Good deal. And he's down to his last Pokemon. He brings in Garchomp here. And old Garchomp here. Keep in mind, again, I have Reflect still up. So this Outrage didn't kill me. I get to finish him off with a uh, Ice Punch, and that's basically going to be game. Got kind of scared here whenever that rough's getting, but that's game.